Welcome, this is Mary Ann. We have got so much happening for this incredibly powerful month, which is the Triple Eight Lionsgate Portal, of course, happening on the 8th of the 8th, 2024, which is which is another eight. And so another amazing opportunity here with the new moon in Leo and the whole week is this vibration of activation and it's going to go right out into the middle of the month and can affect most of us uh, throughout the rest of the year. And so it, depending on what's happening with your birth numbers, now, a lot of people confuse me with a traditional numerologist. I read energy in numbers. I have since I was little. So when I see your birth date, unlike a numerologist would add it up and go, that means you equal that. I feel energy and what's available in this moment. So not only do I talk here about what's happening universally in this uh, eight universal year, now we're in this month of August, eight and eight is a 16, seven month if you are a numerologist. But the seven energy that's offering with all this manifestation of Leo is magical. It's simply magical. Then I invite you to look at what personal month you're in. Now, some numerologists go from your birth date and then you add up the month included in your month in your um, day. And then, you know, there's all sorts of calculations how to get this. What I do, once again, so there's no confusion, I, I can look at your personal month and go, sure, here's your opportunities, but hang on a minute, your birth date's actually quite complex. Then I can look at your the degrees and all the numbers in your astrology, and that tells me another story based on the placements. So I'm not a traditional astrologer. I'm not a traditional numerologist. I've been able to do this on radio for uh, almost 10 years. So the accuracy that comes through from the energetic process, if you look at the universe, is made up of numbers, a harmonic whole, the calculation of the 29 degrees that just happened where Biden just, you know, dropped out of the race. It is so so accurate when you're looking at the frequency of numbers. So I really invite you to stay with this and see what information is not only relevant to you, but see what opportunities the frequencies of this energetic process can offer you. And it is my absolute promise to you, the gifts and the nourishment and the elevation that are on offer here are just phenomenal. I get so excited about it. So as I said, 2024 universal eight year and each month you have your own personal month, right? So if you want to take that, now I can offer you the juices in between. So if you are in this personal month of August, which is from the universal eight, a one month, if it, let's say it's your one month, however you're going to calculate it, uh, what I recommend that I'm tuning into is the absolute order, the natural order things take place. So for example, uh, this is uh, from January to January. And I've always been shown this by guidance because when we get to September, everything re realigns itself because September is a nine. So I'm, I'm not going to confuse you anymore because I get feedback from some people and I do appreciate your comments that um, it's too confusing. What are you saying? Well, I'm doing my best for you and I'm wanting to create something here for you to really take the opportunity. So here's the golden nugget. So if you're in your one personal month, now we've got this eight universal year that's all about destiny, abundance. We've got the lion's gate lining up in this mystical energy of a triple eight portal. What does that mean? Imagine a triangle with three eights and it opens up a gateway for you to elevate your frequency into abundance, but you've got to take action. 
now if you're in your one personal month this is your action month and it's to look at your uh, energy around power and control because one is a challenge one is like you know stepping into your power and saying you matter right you deserve abundance you absolutely matter now if you feel you're struggling or you have beliefs that are looking at your money vibration all around but I only earn a certain amount of money. I can promise you this, the money manifestation, money block stuff that I've cleared for people, you can look at my Google reviews, you can look at Astralata's page, you can look at my site and see all the valuable um, testimonials about how people have, have had money just fall out of the sky for them. You know, they've literally had checks come in the mail when they didn't even think they existed from solicitors. They've have had abundance just fall in their lap inheritances from people that they didn't even realize were in their family you know like it's just incredible when we line up energetically and we say you know what I'm gonna stand in my power and claim my spot this is my land right and this is what you need to visualize every single day five minutes on the cushion morning and night feeling it into your empowerment building the energetic blocks the emotional capability this is your one opportunity here to say come on darling line up with it uh, and if you have any difficulty with that you know just check out the Lionsgate portal mystical manifestation session I'm going to do or the next self-worth elevation which is all about abundance that you know you can join okay this is a month not to be missed if you're in a two personal month you can actually create the most magical timeline destiny relationship of your life and this is a calibration with not only the intimate romantic type this is a calibration for connection and you're going to meet somebody in this month very likely if you're really aware awake lining up with yourself really know yourself with somebody that you feel this I've come home I feel at home with this person because the two energy is this yin divine feminine right it's saying to you come on you can have the relationship of your dreams now when you decide okay if I'm the common person in my love story if I'm the common person in my relationship story and it hasn't worked out from now you can look at it two ways you can say where can I take responsibility for this and change how I'm perhaps communicating opening my heart chakra do I need to heal some past trauma or you know what is it that I have to give is it my love that I want to give this person because when we go into relationship energy and it's all about what you can suck out of someone or give take from them you know you want them to love you then you'll always be disappointed or so you know just be very mindful in this month this is a powerful energy to say come on sweetheart time to get honest take off those road rose colored glasses and let's get real about what we want in a relationship and who are you being where do you need to do some healing and so if you want to do that please check out the links for the next course because this will change your life okay then if you're in a three personal month what happens in this vibration is complete and utter celebration now everything in the numbers of numerology or astrology or degrees or everything has a positive vibration and a uh, esoteric uh, negative value and so when you look at your blueprint and you've been handed your blueprint and you say here you go this is what you've got to work with in this lifetime then the squares and the numbers and the critical degrees and the placements they become actually a workable 
a flexible, mystical journey. And a lot of people think, oh my God, you know, I've got a Scorpio in my seventh house, I'm screwed for life, you know, it's at a critical degree, it's a really bad placement. And this is where the three energy worries about everything. And I want you to turn it around because if you put two threes together, they equal the eight. So it's saying half of you needs to look at the other half of you and say, what am I reflecting out into the world? Because if I'm not reflecting joy and celebration and I'm worrying all the time, how on earth is a frequency supposed to manifest this month? So this is your opportunity to elevate your frequency into celebration, self celebration and what comes from that is many many gifts from the universe I can promise you that okay moving on if you're in a four personal month if you want a new job new home change your location anything around this it's a bit like fourth house matters but you've got a matter within it first right so when you're going for a new job if you want it it's about looking at uh, interviewing the people about the job. You know, why did the other person leave? Can you tell me why this position's become available? What is your company culture? And you end up sort of taking the control seat and the person feels like they've been interviewed and think, wow, if they're this assertive in this and this role needs assertiveness, this person's perfect. And if you're going for a job, you ask for the job at the end and you say, look, I'm going to reflect hard on this, but I, you know, I don't know who else is coming for this job. But if you, if you, um, if you choose me, I won't let you down. And I can promise you this, the filters of fear that that person hiring is going through when they're interviewing everyone will just fade away. You'll be the most remembered if you ask lots of questions and state your three value propositions or your four value propositions about what, you know, when they say, tell me about yourself, don't talk about where you live, your family, your home, your upbringing, they don't care. Talk about, well, the reason I've come for this job is one, one, I've got this compatibility with this, I've got this capacity for that. My value proposition for you is A, B and C. I think that this could be something really exciting. I think that I could be here for the next 10 years. I think this is something that I'd really be good at. If it's about the home and you're moving location and changing, remember we've got Mercury retrograde, so make sure you're reading all these contracts really, really strongly. But this is a foundational move that is fated because we're in the eight year, right? So if you're in a five personal month, this is a month of change that any numerologist would say, but the energy I'm getting here is how to unlock how you're speaking, the communication, the thyroid, the throat chakra, and changing your language to create and manifest greater wealth. So for example, utilizing this Lionsgate energy and opening up your uh, portal of it to say every morning when you get up and, and say, I feel the abundance in my bones, right? Sitting on the cushion for five minutes in the morning and night and feeling the visualization of the satisfaction that you would feel with this manifestation change. If you want to learn all about it, this is your opportunity. Not only we've got the Lionsgate portal, the new moon in Leo. I don't know where Leo is falling in your uh, personal chart, but we've got this five energy. It is electric. And it's saying, this is your opportunity, sweetheart. And Mercury is giving you the opportunity to do it as well because it's retrograde. It's all about redoing how you're communicating. So if you want this personal freedom and you want things to elevate very quickly for you, I would really encourage you to consider reading up, reading up about in the description um, or watching the video on the uh, Abundance You Matter Self-Worth Elevation course that's starting. It's only three sessions. You will love it. Okay, six. 
If you're in a six-person or month, it's all around the heart chakra. It's around family. It's about lots of things that any other numerologist might say. But most importantly, this is about your heart, your opening, your availability, your willingness. This is about how you view the body, looking at your gut health, right? This is a perfect time since we've had the Capricorn second full moon to reset your gut. And with this Leo energy, a lot of people think that the, the lion is about the king. It's not. It's about the shining like the sun and standing in presence of the sun. The king is the ego. The sun is the light. And so if you're not getting enough sun, if you're getting too much sun, you know, what can you do to reset your gut? You know, maybe you need to do a detox. You need to clean out all that old trauma. You need to uh, start taking um, uh, gut probiotics, anything to do with the gut. Really start tuning into your gut, resetting your intuition. Remember, the gut holds all the energy. It's got more neurons than the heart and the brain. So this is a, an amazing month for gut, your gut and your intuition. Now, if you're in a seven month, that means that you follow the universal eight year. And a seven month is magical. I can't stress it enough, not only for a spiritual elevation, uh, if you're in a seven personal month, it's about really bringing in your light to trust and have faith in divine intelligence and to source energy, doing any sort of spiritual uh, course, uh, anything to do with the lion's gate elevation, anything to do with you matter. Of course, uh, my course is coming up. So uh, I would highly, highly recommend <laughs> you do either my course or one other of Astralada's courses in this month because it's going to impact you for the rest of your life. We only get one spiritual elevation like this every year. This is the month, right? And so you'll receive downloads. You will, uh, here's, a good, here's a good way to, to uh, know whether you're in alignment on the path to this magical vibration. In this month of August, if you feel lonely, that's the negative vibration of the seven, alone, uh, introverted, uh, self-isolation, then you know you're not connected, right? The opposite of loneliness is connection. So connection to yourself first and foremost, then divine intelligence, have that light working through you. This is just the most magical time. I really believe that. Uh, and so I wish all you beautiful seven-month people this divine blessing now i'm also doing a special event just for this spiritual elevation on the triple eight portal i can record it for you uh, if you do the course it's included in the course so you get that for free anyway and this is going to be remarkable so check out the links in the description as i move on to the eight personal month so if you're in your eight personal month, wow, is all I can say because <laughs> the overshadowing eight universal year with an eight personal month um, is quite significant. And then it's, you know, of course, the 2024 and then we've got the eight triple eight portal. So you've got eights going on everywhere. So this is looking at eighth house matters, but it's also looking at really understanding your value. You know, you matter even though those things happen to you. Did you know that you matter even though you're experiencing lack? And when you can separate this energy, right, you can separate this energy from what you think I'm just going to turn my computer around, the sun's coming in, what you think you're worth 
uh, in comparison to others versus what you actually do work, uh, what you actually are worth. You matter because you were born. You matter because you exist. But what we do is with trauma eight is we hang on to an event that happened when we were little. It's programmed in our bones and our blood and our body. And we think on some level which causes anxiety, irrational fears, that for some reason we're not worth it. And it's so, 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 so incredible what a shift in consciousness when you can shift from even though that that's pissing me off out there or that's upsetting me, I deeply and completely matter. Can you feel that? And when we can elevate to that level, and if you want my help, for goodness sake, join the three live sessions, this will elevate you out of sight and it's going to affect every area of your life. The eight is infinity. The eight is abundance. The eight is the philosopher cruising into the nine energy, right? So the eight is very invaluable. It's invaluable. So it's looking at the, so if you can find the, in, uh, you know, the in value of you that can, you, that can, you can utilize as your frequency, it will attract value, because in the quantum physics of photons must match, they must be matched. So I hope that's helpful for you. Or as I say, look in the link in the description and check out the event that I've got, Lionsgate Triple Eight Portal or the course. So now we move into a nine personal month. And it's really the Buddha energy. At its highest value, it's the it's the connecting into the vibration of the higher power of faith. Someone that's come from a lot of loss and suffering that's coming into this month is really going through an opportunity to complete this cycle. And how do we complete a cycle? We change our nervous system and we change our belief system. That's what I can offer you every single time. So not only do we do the timeline therapy and gather up the belief that you're holding, and it could be unconscious, it could be generational trauma, uh, past life, whatever it is, and then you can rise up. So the opposite of this frequency that you experience in this month is frustration and anger, passive-aggressive. Um, saying bitter words without a filter. And this is what we all go through as a part of the healing journey to come into awareness thinking, oh my God, I can't believe that came out of my mouth. Or until what somebody faces you and says, excuse me, what did you just say? And then you're like, far out, I'm in trouble now. You know, like this person's challenging me. Because it's not a natural state to be born into life and become angry and passive aggressive and frustrated. All is it saying is you're off path. It's a part of the journey to complete it. And so this month you're asked to go into higher, your higher self, higher learning, the Buddha energy. Look at the philosophy behind what's caused your beliefs. If you want to check it out, um, message me through Astralata and I'll give you a free uh, questionnaire. It's a life questionnaire. And you can fill it out. I don't need your, any of your details. And you can just look at your childhood programming and go, wow, that's why that is. So this is a great opportunity for you to come into a state of satisfaction. It really is. Okay. And then if you are in an, a Master 11 personal month, then you're looking at coming into a uh, collaboration of interdependence, admitting that you need that person, they need you, but it being independent in your own right. You know, like what can you give them? What can they give you? Life is about a relationship. 
and the Master 11 uh, energy offering in this incredible August month of the 8, uh, Lionsgate energy, the new moon in Leo, the 8 universal year 2024, is really speaking to you about, you know, how are you being an earth angel? How are you showing up? And if you are the common person in all the storybooks with all the relationships with others and you keep coming up against these challenging times, maybe it's time to align to a higher value, to see yourself as the beautiful soul that you are, to see yourself as angelic because the 11 is the earth angel. It is the charitable heart. And I always say to somebody, if they if they feel depressed, think they're depressed, go and be charitable. Go and volunteer somewhere. Give back. Because depression is this part that can manifest through suppressing feelings. And it means you're sad. You know, when we look at the trauma response to depression, it's what are you so sad about? And it's always someone full of regret, disappointment, has no energy because they don't know either what's happened to them in the past or there's nobody there to support them. So I'm here to support you. If you need my help, reach out. And honestly, if you need a reading so that you have somebody that can show you where you're at, what's on offer for you, what opportunities you have, you can book a recorded reading. Um, you can join a class. You can uh, have a one-on-one -on -one with me, whatever you want. I wish you absolutely divine blessings in this month of August. Much love to you.